Coming annual fire hydrant testing by Hattiesburg Fire Crews helps keep the city's class three fire rating so you don't pay more for insurance and neighbors stay safe. This year, though, firefighters will have a digital application and data system to help them in the process. Our Kyra Lampley has more on today's decision from City Council and how it will impact you. When a fire breaks out, every second counts towards getting a family to safety. This is why the Hattiesburg Fire Department will be updating fire hydrants across the city. It's going to take us probably to the first of the year. Maybe We, we should be finished by the last week of December or the first week of January. Um, we, we, we use this system, and while we're out here flowing the hydrants, we're going to make sure we paint them, maintenance them, so they can flow properly. We can easily open them and the water can come out. Tonight, the Hattiesburg City Council voted to partner with an engineering firm to help provide a digital application and data processing service for firefighters to use when they are out testing. The measure helps with GIS mapping, records management, and digital field maps. When your area is serviced, you could see discolored water and low pressure, but city leaders say don't worry, it's normal. But, but the brown water is going to occur when we stir up that sediment that's there in these older pipes. But it's important to note that while that's happening, we're also in areas on Martin Luther King and Arcadia Sunset neighborhood, and we're right now replacing those water pipes with brand new water pipes. You know, we have a century old system in some parts of the city, and we're replacing those. Hattiesburg Mayor Toby Barker says performing upkeep on all of the city's fire hydrants helps keep the city up to proper code for its fire rating. As part of the city's fire rating, uh, we have to test fire hydrants every year. and. Um, make sure that we do this so we can uh, maintain our class three fire rating, which affects people's insurance rates for their home and business. Um, for us, it's something that we do to find out are there deficient fire hydrants of the thousands that we have in the city. Um, often it will also, also reveal leaks that we have. In Hattiesburg, I'm Kyra Lampley, WDAM 7 on your side. Now again, the council ratified the agreement between the city and Shouse, Dearman and Waits for the data management services. Testing will begin soon, Monday, November 27th.